prototype of Project Valerie was stolen. Bummer. They're offering a $25,000 reward uh, for any information that will be But it's any information to Um, just to get it back and return it. <laughs> and, uh, everyone is blaming me and Tom Syndicate. So, I want to settle this once and for all. I will not admit to stealing Project Valerie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. At mm -hmm. best. Circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am clearly still at CES in this program. You know, it's a little awkward that you would have that at the um, uh, I really don't think that anything about the rising poster over my right shoulder would indicate that I I'm, mean, you're, I'm you're, in the razor booth here. You're giving trade secrets? I'm in the razor booth here. The AMD? Clearly in the razor booth here. Obviously. 2018 was going to be an AMD laptop. Uh, <laughs> little did they know, they stole the worst idea ever. <laughs> um, this is clearly much better evidence. Uh, I don't know why he's talking about me here. Let's just do that. Hey, working. See? He is clearly poised to steal it. What? I don't do it. As for the third piece of evidence. Um, okay, okay. Now this, again, highly circumstantial. This is apparently a post from a post from our forum. Our own users turning on me. Oh, this is from the CES WAN show to the part where Linus tells Austin they have a mutual acquaintance who offered Linus double sticker price to steal him or her an Acer Predator 21X. So clearly, the offer was to steal a Predator 21X, not which the, they go missing. Not the right one, bro. Yeah. So okay. I, I appreciate the evidence stuff and you're trying to like talk over. Obviously mine still feel like fine and much up in the school. How the freaking hell like I'm sorry, Razor, you lost your thing. Yeah. How did you do that? Oh so I, I asked. Yeah, I, I emailed I emailed my uh, my PR guy there. I'm like, so is this a publicity stunt? Yeah, because it really feels like it. And he's like, no. So what the hell? Hold on, hold on, okay. So I'll say this. Like, um, my, my Razor contact is a straight shooter. Yeah. I trust him. Yeah. Um, he's a good guy. He says, nah, they were legitimately taken. One of the back rooms was unlocked in the last three minutes and so. so the thing about the back rooms is that if you've ever been to, to like, in the, in the back of the CES booth before, um, I saw, did you see the inside of the parent control room that one room and they were doing Bebop dancing thing? It was incredible. It was like an entire additional parent booth full of like drones and drone repair stuff and like all the sensors and crap that were running that, that, that automatic yeah. dance thing. Anyway, um, so, so there, there can be a lot of like back room stuff. Typically, those are accessible to a panel that opens in the back of the room. So all the Razor staff have been running around doing things. Especially on the last day of the show, you tend to be a little bit more short staff and some people are going out early or gotten tired or gotten sick by that point in the show. Not that easy to transport. They're very fragile. They wouldn't even let me pick it up. They were so people even early to it. But they still want them there in case you have to show them to like a partner or something. So, okay. I'm saying this. You're not wrong. You know, I'll say again. I, I, I don't know if I can get it. I can comprehend what they're saying. I can't really it. That's how insane it is. I've had, like, terrible things at shows. Have security sensors on them. Whether it's like, if it goes too far away from the booth, it starts beeping. I've had that not that hard to do, to okay. be honest. Fair enough. I've had, like, where it's on a cable. I've had what it is like. He thing, I don't know, can be too long, but yeah. that thing probably didn't have. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it would, I guess, because it's just a bloody flow with a, 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 with
Yeah, mine does. Oh, mine does. So you have to prove that. So the stealth doesn't count. Huh. It's funny because it's like the most scalable. Anyway, um, there's tangent blocks, there's, there's security tags, there's distance, whatever. Fun fact, uh, LG had the, uh, had the security sticker on a still plastic wrap. Laptop for the LG gram. I was tempted to take it off and see <laughs> if it would give off. Okay. So, oh, it's, I'd already been yelled at at Sony. Um, people, people are accusing me of faking, like when you getting yelled at there. But no, like six people were like running towards me, telling me to get off the stage because I legitimately did have permission. Just like I do normally have permission to do the outlandish stuff that I do. I had permission from one guy who didn't communicate to everyone else that I was going to be jumping up on the stage because they were hardcore about people not going up there and looking at Phoenix, which is the, um, the, the, the big like um, modular display thing because if you touch Sony's Cletus, it could be damaged. Oh, In all seriousness, though, the cleanest display <laughs> is very fragile. Yeah. So you don't want to rub it too hard. Just go right in. Just go right in now. Um, right in the line. I no left it there. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Just forget it. Everybody just don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, you know what we do have to worry about is our sponsors for today. Yeah. This LAN show is brought to you by... Ooh, I fix it. I fix it. They saved my... Well, actually, Brandon specifically. A huge unintentional sponsor. To you. Yeah, saved my bacon at the show. I thought about it. I had my iFixit kit in my backpack, and I was like, should I take it? Should I not take it? Because every other year, I've, like, brought tools and then not ended up using it. <laughs> so Brendan used it so much. <laughs> so uh, Brendan had it with him, so I got to Acer. It was the first week I did. And immediately, I, there were a couple things. Immediately, I saw the Predator 21X, and I had to open it. I was like, I need to see the inside. It ended up being kind of that interactive. When I get my unit, I'm going to have to spend some real time. It's going to take a couple hours to get it because they have like a big plate and stuff uh, where you get the hardware. Yeah. Um, but I was like, immediately after opening it, I was like, I can't believe I left that at home. And Ben's like, oh, I got mine. And I'm like, well, give it to me. And he's like, oh, it's back in the hotel. I'm like, Colton, go get it. <laughs> so Colton went and got it. Um, and then the other thing was also the kit they needed to do. They weren't sure about the drive options in one of the laptops. Really, this one you use on the laptops. Like, even some of the hardware wasn't fine. There was one with a TN panel, and the spec sheet said IPS, and I was like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, uh, I don't know, we'll find out. So they had to call HQ, and it turns out that on the engineering samples, they just throw cheap or TN in them. So they didn't say too much. And I was like, oh, you probably didn't have that in the trade show, but sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, sorry, I fixed it, right. They make great tools for, uh, oh yeah, they've got guides on their website for repairing your electronics. I met the guy. And upgrading, what? Yeah. What guy? Super random. What? Who? Like the iPixit guy. Mm. Like the guy. Like the guy. Like the guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think that's about that. Super cool. Met him at HP. Oh. He drove them with me. It was actually hilariously nice. awesome. We were both talking about the Omen. And I brought up about how he gave the most of this video file and he didn't have a video and he had a video and he had a video and he had a video and he talked about that for a second and then he like laughed at their pace which was great. No! Like right in front of them. No filter. I was like, you are so cool. <laughs> and I've been like trying to go back and forth with this, with this HP guy for a while like, man, like, why is your I.O. on the motherboard so back in? Like, all sorts of things you have to do on the Yeah. He's like, oh, what else do you want? And I was like, any audio options? And, I don't know, we're going back and forth a little bit, and then I fix it, guy comes up and just, like, doesn't even wait for the HP guy to, like, possibly come back with anything. And it's just like, duh, 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 All right, like, bye. <laughs> it was really cool. It was terrible. Savage. It was awesome. 
Um, anyway, so iFixit is all about repairing and upgrading your electronics yourself with their step-by-step -step guides and their huge inventory of replacement parts and tools with lifetime warranties for the replacement parts. Um, so today we're talking about their latest and greatest all-new ProTech tool kit, which we've seen featured on the WAN show and on normal land cycle companies in the past, if you didn't expect your version of that. I can tell you about the time that I specifically said in the video that I was just using my fix it kit because it's sponsored by iFixit. Then the video production schedule got shifted and it ended up being sponsored by iFixit. <laughs> was that left in the video? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Anyway, it has a bunch of prime tools, suction cups, poking tools, cutting tools, uh, flying tools, and static tools. And a whack ton of screwdrivers and bits that have been enough for me to assemble or disassemble pretty much anything. And I'm going to do this again. I've done this before. I'm still kind of terrible about it. I'm going to criticize or uh, offer constructive criticism about the product uh, on, during during a sponsor spot for the product. The one thing that gets me sometimes is uh, deeper uh, like deeper holes. You'll find me look. In the bottom of yeah. the black box sometimes, where the, where the plastic oh, yeah. the plastic hole is really deep until you can get to the screen. So there is a workaround, and this saved me on the Predator. Was the Predator? Whatever, one of the laptops, I almost didn't get open. So there's a workaround where you use one of the sockets, yeah. and then you put the bit into the socket. But it would be nice to have like like a longer shaft, like a super slim longer shaft extension type thing. Um, that, would be, that would be even better. But as it is, I've only very rarely been to see Anyway, what are we talking about again? Uh, the longer shaft to you. Wow. Okay, so, rather <laughs> only for the toolkit or their less expensive Essentials Electronic Toolkit, by heading over to ifixit.com slash minus and use offer code LAN show to save five bucks on the purchase of ten dollars or more. Highly recommend ifixit. I think that you can work on all of these things. You need to be careful, I don't look at you. <laughs> That's why you're looking at Anyway, fresh books! Oh. <laughs> fresh books, okay. So if you're a freelancer, um, not that kind of freelancer. No, I'm not that kind of freelancer. I'm pretty sure most of them work sort of under the table. Cash deals? Cash, cash, cash deals. I'm pretty sure most clients don't want to do it. Wow. Um, wow. FreshBooks is totally dropping in. Restarting. <laughs> okay, so, uh, note for Colton. On when your LinkedIn was sponsored. Leave the timestamp a little later. Yeah, leave the timestamp a little later for the like next spot. One normal topic here. Do I get some no, we'll just pretend. So hold on, give me one second. So that's why I was telling those guys that I yeah. really just think peaches make absolutely no sense in this context. It doesn't work for peaches. I know, I know. Like, why peach cakes? Yeah. Anyway, we should uh, start off one of our sponsor spots here. Uh, FreshBooks. So FreshBooks is the easy to use invoicing <laughs> that, that helps small businesses look professional and get paid faster. You can check this completely free for 30 days at freshbooks.com slash WAN. Mm -hmm. And make sure you type WAN and how you do it by touching No time stamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so FreshBooks lets you if you run a small computer repair business or accounting or uh, don't have any loot for something in the closet over there. And uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to their support staff. Right, okay, so FreshBooks lets you create your invoices, send them, you can track your hours, you can track your expenses, you can see when people have seen your invoices, which takes the guessing game out of that whole rigmarole. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to their support staff, we're going to speak to a real human, no phone sheet, no escalation, nothing like that, you just got a mobile party. So check them out at freshbooks.com slash plan and try out a free trial today. Wow. Already then. So I'm by myself and now which is fine. Hopefully everything's okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Uh, Norway becomes the first country to kill FM radio. This is posted by Gatsby on the forum. Wow, that poor Colton didn't even get to say anything. Um, just 
Cool stuff. 